Good morning. Today it is Wednesday, November 15th. This is lesson 45. It is ratio problems. Involving totals. So we've dealt some with ratios and proportions. Um, and now we're going to do some word problems that uh, involve totals. Um, as we talked about, you, you have a sub day. You should be watching this on, on a laptop. Uh, this lesson is not extremely long. I think you should have plenty of time to get through the lesson and uh, probably most of the way through the homework in class. So here we go. Example one, jumping right into examples. It says acrobats and clowns converged on the center ring in the ratio of 3 to 5. So acrobats and clowns converge on the center ring in the ratio of 3 to 5. If a total of 24 acrobats and clowns, so a total of 24 acrobats and clowns performed in the center ring, How many were clowns? Okay, so we've got some acrobats and some clowns all converge on the center ring in the ratio of three to five. So three acrobats to five clowns. A total of 24 acrobats and clowns. So three acrobats to five clowns. Total, there were 24 came out and performed. We want to know how many were clowns. So essentially what we're looking for here, okay, we've got the ratio of 3 to 5, right, with a total of 24. So we're looking for two numbers, okay, that need to add up to 24, because that's our total. Okay, that's how many clowns and acrobats we have. And those two numbers need to be in the ratio of 3 to 5, 3 acrobats to 5 clowns. Okay, so you can uh, try to do trial and error and spend all day um, coming up with two numbers that add to get 24 and, and a ratio of 3 to 5. Or we can make a table. Okay, and you're going to find the book does this for both examples, makes a table like this. The ratio and the actual. We've got acrobats. Clowns and the total number. Okay. So we've got three acrobats to five clowns. Okay, so the ratio total, add those two together. Remember, ratios are out of a total, right? So the ratio total is eight. And we don't know how many actual acrobats we had, we don't know how many actual clowns we had, but we know that we had 24 total of them both together. Okay, the problem asks for how many were clowns. So we're looking for this right here. See how many were clowns. Well, okay, there were five clowns to a total of eight. Okay. So the ratio, okay, five clowns, eight total, because the five and the three from the clowns and the acrobats, five over eight, equals the actual amount of clowns to the actual amount of total acrobats and clowns. Okay, so 5 to 8 equals C over 24. And now it's just a proportion that we can cross multiply and solve. Um, so that equals 120. Divide by 8. And C equals 15. Okay, so there are 15 clowns. 
which means that there would have been nine acrobats. 15 and nine is 24. Okay, so another way to look at this, right? Acrobats, clowns, yeah, that's the other. The ratio total is eight. Okay, the actual total is 24. Um, there were three, so that's eight times three, scale factor of three, so we just multiply all those by three. Okay, but again, that's exactly, that's what a ratio is. That's what a proportion does for you. Because it's not always gonna be as easy as just multiply by three. All right, and that's the next example. And the final example. I'm gonna flip over to the back. Example two, a bus company has a small and large buses in the ratio of two to seven. If the company has 84 large buses. How many buses does it have total? So we've got a bus company that's got small buses, large buses. Okay, two small buses to seven large buses. If there are 84 large buses, we want to know how many buses are there total. Okay. So essentially, right, two to seven is our ratio of small to large. Okay. Um, there are 84 large, again, a couple different ways you can do this, right? Um, use a ratio of two to seven to find how many small buses and add them together. Or, again, using a table like from problem one, the ratios, we've got the actual, we've got small buses, large buses, and total. And two small to seven large, making a total of nine. Don't know how many small buses there are. We know that we have 84 large, and we're looking for the total. So what are we going to do? Set up a ratio. So proportion, oops, 7 over 9 equals 84 over T. Okay, because 9 represents the total. Remember, all of these numbers in a ratio um, are connected. So 2 to 7, okay. And small to large, so if I said 2 to 9, that'd be small to total. 7 to 9 is large to total, so on and so forth. Okay, And then large to total, the actual numbers, again, proportion, because they are equal. So 7t equals 9 times 84. Multiply those, divide by 7. Get t equals 108. So there are 108 total buses in this fleet. Okay. Um, again, as we talked, you could have done this. Okay, small to large, small to large. Um, eight. So we know there are twenty-four small buses, and then twenty-four plus 84 is 108, okay? So we found the number of small buses, added it to the number of large buses. Oops. Okay, another way we could have found the same answer. Okay. So the homework for today is on page 310.
got numbers one, three, four, six through nine, twenty, and twenty seven through twenty nine. All right. I hope you have a good day. I hope you are nicer to the sub than you are to me. I hope you don't make fun of the sub for their hair color or for what they look like or for what they act like. Uh, and I hope that whoever the sub is, they want to come back and you don't run them off. Uh, have a good day and I will see you back here tomorrow.